we've been asked is, uh, you know, when I am in a matter and I receive cash as a retainer, right? And if I basically go here and click on new retainer and I click on cash, it prompts me for, uh, you know, petty cash, cash and owner's pocket. But in our video, we are su suggesting put it into a trust cash account. So how do I make sure that there's a trust cash account here? To do that, first go onto your accounts panel and check your, uh, you know, cash account to see what are all your cash accounts. Here we have a petty cash, cash, owner's pocket, and we have a few other pocket. I mean, we also have an intermatter account, right? But we don't have a trust cash. So what we can do is we can create a new one under asset, click on cash and say trust cash account. So this is when you receive money in trust in cash, you can deposit it temporarily in this account. Okay, so now when you go to the matter, now say new retainer, what will happen is, and if you say cash, it will allow you to pick trust cash. And let's say you got $500, you know, of cash from this guy. Okay, you can immediately say apply. Now what will happen is it will ask you for two options, deposit now or deposit later. We strongly recommend that you do deposit now, that way you don't forget it. Right? And then now what happens is this $500 has been withdrawn from this account, right? And then you basically go ahead and deposit it into your pool trust account. Now you're telling us where you're depositing. Let's say you're depositing it into your CIBC pool trust account, right? And you can say apply. The key elements that we wanted to show you here is if you go into this trust tab after you do this you will see the entire movement of $500 here you received $500 as a cash payment you withdrew that 500 from the uh, trust cash as a you know as a withdrawal and then you deposited it into your bank account so there are three transactions here like one is deposit into cash one is withdrawal from cash and then other is the true deposit into the bank account now you can also verify that in your um, uh, trust account in your chart of accounts as well. So if I go here under my trust account into my CIBC, you should now see a $500 deposit that I did today. Similarly, if I go into my cash account, trust cash account, I will now see the deposit that I initially re received and then the 500 that I actually withdrew to deposit it to the bank. So everything is properly accounted using these three transactions. So again, to summarize, like, you know, you need to basically create that account if it does not exist by doing this. But before you do that, make sure you go to your cash and see whether you have a trust cash account. If you don't have it, then you we suggest that you click on add new account asset cash and create that. And when you create that account, and whenever you go here and you receive your retainer and you press on this cash button, you should see the trust cash in your drop down.